Okay, on a lighter note, you guys, subscribers. Okay, first off, I want to tell you that David forewarned me to stay private for at least two more weeks. I don't know if it's something that he's feeling or if he's just afraid. Okay, because of, you know, some of these haters in the comment that one person left. Okay. And it's a hassle for me, guys, because I have to go in, then I gotta click it, and then I gotta click on the subscriber, and then I gotta... Okay. But, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm gonna do it for another week and see what happens. Okay. Alright. My day. This is on a lighter note. And then what I'm going to do is go through some footage here. And hopefully I can get up a couple more videos. Because I am really, really tired. I only got like two, three, four hours sleep last night. And then sitting up at the boring fire hall. Watching people win guns. I mean, you know. But anyway, I, um, I'm planning on going through the foot some more footage. At least put one more video up. Um... Okay, my day was, of course, I made a video before we left, and I got it up when I came back to let the dogs out. Then I walked back up to the, the station. But anyway, something interesting really happened, and I'm kind of happy about it, because it made the time go faster, okay? There was these two guys that walked in, and I have this thing when I see military patches. Okay, well, my subscribers know I'm very passionate about being a patriot. Okay, and as I've stressed before, say thank you. Okay. Well, anyway, he went to walk past the table. And I'm sorry, but I had to look at, you know, at the patches. And the first one I seen was the black patch, the MIA patch. And then on the back, I recognized two of the other patches. And one was from the USS America. And that one my ex-husband had, because he served on the aircraft carrier as an Airedale. Well, the way he walked around the table, I'm sorry, but I just had to say something, okay? I said to him, I said, uh, you in the service? Were you in the service? He swung around. He had a great personality. Great guy. And he swung himself around, and he said, uh, Yes, ma'am. He says, I was in the Navy. He said, the Army first and the Navy second. He said, I put 18 years in the Navy. That's all it took. That, that's all it took. Okay. Well, anyway, we got the BS. And his brother's hollering for him to come down to the table his brother wanted him to sit down at. I said, well, you just hold your horses there. I said, I'm talking to your brother. I'm telling him, you know, stories. And I'm telling him about what I know. So, guys, now his brother was named Dave. David, all these days, okay. And I was smoking again, which is, you know, I have it. But anyway, we just got, I mean, we it just seemed like we clicked. So he told me he not only served, it was past the Vietnam era, but the patches were still the same that I recognized when my ex-husband was on these ships and when he did the Mediterranean tours with the Navy, okay? So anyway, I, I said to him, I said, can I look at your patches? And he said, sure. You know, so he took off his jacket and he let me look at his patches. So anyway, um, he went back and sit with his brother and about five minutes went by and he came up. And he says, do you mind if we sit at your table across from you? I says, I don't care. I thought, great. I got somebody to talk to that I have something in common with, you know. So anyway, we started. I mean, we we just I mean we did not shut up. And he was talking about places that we were stationed. And he was telling me how it improved and what they've done and what buildings were torn down. I mean, we were just a yak and yak and yak. Poor Jim, he was sitting there and all he could do is just sit there and wait and win the numbers, which we never did. But me and them guys hid. They walked out with like I don't know. Okay, and they had, yeah, we were, we were just sitting there. But anyway, um, we were talking, and uh, I told, you know, I said, I gotta go, you know, we're only a block away from the fire hall. I said, I gotta go up and let the dogs out so they can go to the bathroom. I said, it's been about three hours. And I said, nah, I said, I don't want to leave them up there by themselves. 
you know, it was my way out for two reasons. One, they had to go to the bathroom, and I thought it was kind of mean for them to be stuck in the house and not being able to get out if they had to go to the bathroom. And secondly, it gave me a chance to play with them for a few minutes. Okay, so that was my way out. So that, you know, but if it wouldn't have been for Dawn, I would have been bored stiff. So, I mean, I would have been bored stiff, okay? Because gun bashes to me is a... I don't know. They're, they're just boring, okay? They're just boring. Especially if you're not winning nothing. All you're doing is spending money and just sitting there not winning nothing. But anyhow, I went ahead and I, I, I thought, it would be really nice with all the patches that he got. He earned all them patches. Except the MIA. But when I thanked him, even though he wasn't a Vietnam vet, he was in the Gulf War. Okay. But he did 18 years. So he was there long before the Gulf War even started. Okay. I looked at him and I told him, I said, I want to thank you. And he reached out his hand, you know, and he said, you know what? He said, no, I got to thank you. He says, because you're the reason why. He says, I did, and all of us have done. You know. Well, about five minutes went by, and, you know, of course, they came up, and we sat there, and we talked, and talked, talked. Well, I came up to the house, and I thought, you know, I have Eddie's patch, his green gray patch, that he gave me off of his beret. And so on, so proud of where they've been and what they've done. I gave him that patch tonight. I took it down, and he was sitting there. I slid it over to him on the tail. He looked at it. He goes, damn. He said, that's a green beret patch. He says, I know exactly where I'm going to put that. I says, well, be proud because my brother earned it. I says, trust me, he earned it. I says, but the pride that I felt with you. I said, you deserve to have it too. So I gave him my brother's green beret patch. And I'm sure that it wasn't the original. It was the original, but it was one he had extra, I guess. Yeah, I'm tearing up. And he goes, I know exactly where I'm going to put it. He says, where everybody's going to see it. See, back in the day, that's what they did with their flight jackets. They got patches from the ships they were on and places that they've been, like the Mediterranean and uh, the Pacific and you know and they and they sported them on their flight jackets and he too was an Airedale he was on a couple of ships my ex-husband was on so we had a lot in common so I mean time really flew fast folks let me tell you I enjoyed it well we were outside having a cigarette I said hey Dawn come up the street with me I said I'm going to walk away walk up with me I said I'm the only one on my block really all around that has the American flag up and the black flag. So he walked up around. He says, there she is, hanging there, proud as anything. And he said, you got that black flag up. And we walked back, and we were talking. And he says about wanting to meet Gretchen and, and Izzy. So I looked for him to stop by. He's a really nice guy. Really nice guy, along with his brother Dave. So I had Dawn and Dave. So I told him, I said, hey, you're welcome here anytime. I said, if you're not working, stop by. You know, I said, I got some pictures to show you. You know, so I may have made a friend tonight just because I said thank you. Now, isn't that neat? You know, isn't that neat? All because I said thank you. So, being on top of a boring day and muddling through it, he made it pleasant for me. And I'm sure I made it pleasant for him because he told me, he says, I told my brother, finally, he came back here a year ago, and I asked him, I said, have you noticed when you come back that you have nothing in common with these people back here because they don't understand? And he said, yes. He said, that's what I told my brother. Let, there's people there that understand. I can communicate with them. I can talk to them them about things that they understand. So there you go. All because I said thank you. 
I'm running out of time again, folks. Alright, talk to y'all later. This is Try 76. That was my day.